So as Anthony Green mentions, the ABC is projecting that the Treasurer, Josh Frydenberg, has lost his seat of Kooyong to the independent candidate, Dr Monique Ryan, in Melbourne. Dr Ryan is one of a group of those teal independents challenging inner-city Liberal MPs at this election. Now, she has been Director of the Neurology Department at the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne. Mr Frydenberg is a leader of the moderate wing of the Liberal Party and was widely regarded as a potential future leader. To the people of Kuyong, they say politics, or all politics, is local. And for me, that's always been the first and fundamental task I have, to be a good local member. To the people of Australia, I say thank you. Thank you for giving me the privilege to be your treasurer. What we did in balancing the budget for the first time in 11 years before the pandemic, the work that we've done with historic reforms to foreign investment, to insolvency, to superannuation, to taking on the digital giants in Google and Facebook, to abolishing a whole tax bracket and dragging the Labor Party to agree to that legislated tax reform. But most importantly, the work that I have been able to do with my colleagues to steady our economic ship, to be able to save more than 800,000 jobs, to see Australia have a stronger and faster economic recovery than any other advanced economy in the world is something that I'll be proud of from now to the end of time. So for me, to know that our economy is stronger today than when we came to government, that more people are in work today than when we came to government, that taxes are lower than when we came to government, that we're spending more on health, education, disability support, women's safety than when we came to government, that defence and national security are seeing the investments that we need in a more unstable world, more so than when we came to government, is something that I'm internally proud of that our government has achieved.